works. So this is a little video to show you how you can export your Photoshop files for animation in Toon Boom. Um, again, ideally you'll be creating them in Toon Boom directly because then if you need to make any changes you can. There's no in uh, middle guy that you need to mess around with. But if you're absolutely adamant, this is how you can go about it. And this is my Photoshop guy from Flippin' Donkeys Ago. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of layers already set up. Good to go. If you've created everything and just flattened the whole thing, so you've got... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Flip. One big old dude. It is going to be a pain in the arse for you. Uh, so you're going to need to manually go in and cut all your bits out. Yeah. Alright, but not just that, you need to have the assets underneath. So you're then going to need to make those extra elements. Where is my smudge tool? I think it's hidden there somewhere. This one. How flipping tedious am I right? So then when you rotate, you're not going to have a big hole. Yeah? So that's obviously really rough. Don't do it like that. That's atrocious. Um, but what you want to do... Oh my gosh, it scared for a second there. What you want to do is be creating it knowing that you're going to be splitting it up. So what I'd recommend is, like I've done on oops, this guy, when you start tracing your shape, start blocking in those forms and having those overlaps already drawn in so you know exactly where you're drawing things. So like tails, they don't just end at the edge of the body. They go behind it and connect at the butt. Where does the neck connect to the head? Those kinds of things. There should be a bit for the horn here, but I haven't. So that's not good. Um, anything that you've got the same asset, if you've got seven of the same tentacle, uh, you can use the same one and duplicate it. So that's what I'm going to do with this arm here. And then I can flip it over. Um, so if it is identical, you don't have to create it from scratch. In theory, you'll still want to make tweaks so it's not identical when you get there. But as far as your guides, you can be a little bit looser with them. So, go in there. so this guy, he's already set up. Uh, and the way I like to do it if I'm doing it in Photoshop is, oh, who cares, uh, is use smart layers. So that means that I can go in, I can make changes. So this was an Illustrator file that I've then added a bunch of Photoshop textures to on their own individual layers with multiply and screens attached. And that means it's non-destructive. So if I want to make a change, I absolutely can. I can go in and make his shirt a different color if I want to. Uh, which is the freedom that you have with something like uh, as long as you save. With something like um, Illustrator, you can change it on the fly because it's vector, but you cannot with Photoshop. Once it's there, it's there. It's like paint on the layer. That's it. So just be aware of being as non-destructive as possible so you don't have any additional issues. Um, and also keep an eye out for these joins that we've got here. So this, because he's a nice geometric character, super easy to have perfect geometric joints. So what that means is if I want to rotate this leg and I've got a perfect circle for my pivot point, I'm not going to get, if I line it up right, oh gosh, big jutty outy moments, it's going to be perfectly circular the whole way. As if I have um, angles and points, not being a friend at all, um, then it's going to be issue down. Just like if the anchor point is not set correctly, boop, pops out, looks stupid. So the closer you can get to a perfect geometric join at every possible instance, the better you will be. So say this is our layers. Great. Now, what you can do in Toon Boom, you can import Photoshop files directly. Um, however, it has massive bounding boxes. 
and it's the boundary block. It's the size of our full, oops, full uh, art comp, not the size of our layer. So even though this mouth is only this big, so we'll go up to that mouth layer, you can see how big the, comp, the little layer is there. It's this big. It's going to come in the size of this, which means when I try to click on it, I could be grabbing anything underneath. It's really, really painful. So the best way I've found to work with Photoshop layers, if you absolutely must, is to export them all as PNGs first. So same process as in Illustrator. So if we go to uh, File and Scripts, you can export as layers. Oh, no, they've moved it to the export, haven't they? Of course they have. So we go to File and Export layers to files. So we want every single layer to become a file of its own. Boop. And we'll navigate to our folder. And we do not want to have a prefix because that's just too many letters and all we want is these names. So I might go P for pirate. That's it. Um, I also want the file type to be PNG24, which is great. Transparency ticked. Trim layers. This guy is key. That's the whole reason we're doing it this way. And then we'll hit run. And we'll wait for his face to creepy flicker on and off for a good long minute or two. That's one layer. And we're done. So that will have popped up in your Photoshop files. There's all the ones with the stupidly long names. Character photo 028. Pfft, ridiculous. So I'm going to delete those bad boys because I don't need them. Because they're crap. These guys already stupidly long naming convention. P, not necessary. Not sure why they wanted to add the numbers. But there you go. Photoshop for you. So these files you can now import into your scene, but we want a reference layer as well, so we can actually see what we're doing. So I'm going to get File and Export Quick PNG. I just want to see what this guy looks like as he is. Ref. Be my reference layer. Cool. So do 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 harmony. Uh, so if you guys are going to be creating your character inside Photoshop and splitting up all your layers there, that's fine. I prefer you didn't, but that's fine. Um, but for next class, you will need to have all of your layers split up and everything in harmony. So you need to be at that point by next week. Otherwise, you'll be all kinds of lost and confused. So I'm going to make a new scene that is uh, Photoshop import. You can leave it 1920, 1080, and 24. That's top notch. And then create theme. Let it do its thinking. Go. Here we are. Now to import your bits, you are literally going to go file import images you're going to browse and navigate to the bits that you want which photoshop you're going to select all of them so you can go select one shift or control a to get everything hit open we'll say many files selected which is great um we want create layers we don't want them to all be flattened so based on file names which unfortunately is crapola uh we do not want to do keep as original bitmap because our uh, alignment rules are all weird. So what we want is the Toon Boom bitmap drawing. Um, it's not going to change anything on your visuals. It's still going to look top notch. It's just the way that Toon Boom reads it. So we want import as Toon Boom bitmap drawing. Change the rules to actual size and the alpha needs to be straight. We're not blending it with black or white or anything weird. You hit OK. Stunning. You've got all your weird bits there. So that's our background, just so we can look that. We don't need that. Reference. Pop him above. There we go. 
Now our reference layer had our white background on it, so that's why it's huge. But here you go, here's all your pieces ready to stick together. Now these, because they come from Photoshop and they've got annoying numbers at the front, they're actually in the correct order, which is surprisingly helpful. Um, when you import it from Photoshop, they just go by the name you give, which I prefer, but anyway, silver lining, I guess. So then you'll want to just go through and manually eyeball them to line back up. Woo diggity, so much fun. You notice if you had instances that were left and right, they've now become your parameters down here. So my left is just L and my brow is R. That means you can have number instances. So that's how you do lip syncing. You have different numbered instances uh, or you can assign yeah, letters. So if you had an O mouth shape, then you would call it the letter O, those kinds of things. Just like you've got a left ear and a right ear. Um, and pretty nice that Toon Boom just recognised that's what we were doing and named it for us. Very thoughtful indeed. Pull everything out of his bum. Actually, see. Uh, if you find something blocking your view, you can turn that off. So I can see where this is supposed to go. Oh, hello, shoe. And we can manually tweak this a little bit to make it look better once we've got it all roughly in place. Uh, but at the moment we can't really see the through the anything anyway, so may as well just go for you. The hand somewhere in his body. Mm. Ah, just turns up. Where's his hand? Over there. Hello. Cool. Now, if we turn off our reference, what does it look like? There he is. Cool. We can see there's a couple little gutty bits sticking out, so we need to fix those. Now, it looks a little bit pixelated at the moment. Don't stress. 
Uh, it doesn't look as crisp as it could. That's because we're on a preview mode. If we go to blink, that's as good as it gets. Huh. That's as good as it gets. There we go. Also because we're on 320%. So if you find that while you when you start rigging or moving around or your computer's going a bit slow and you're on 100% and it's really pixelated, angry looking, if you just go to this guy, which is your final render view, that's what you're going to see. If it still looks nasty there, then we've got some issues with our file that we need to fix up. Um, but while we're working, we're working this view here down the bottom. Cool. But that is it. You may want to go in and rename everything now that you don't need those numbers. Just because that's going to be a pain. Just the more things to read before you know what you're doing. I certainly would because that will drive me bonkers. So you're going to be working in this for a good few weeks. Um, keep in mind you can't have any names, layers named the same thing. So you'll have to, if like me, you just call the brows brow, you'll have to give them a proper unique name like left and right. You cannot have any two layers named the same thing because Toon Boom will flip its nut. So this is where you need to be next week. Everything split up, everything working. Uh, if you want to have other instances of hands and mouths and stuff, you need to have those done as well. So you can have additional drawing layers. Uh, in the video that I show you about Toon Boom, you can see that there. That will be up just hopefully below this video in a moment. Um, otherwise, we'll be looking at it in class. <laughs> Anyway, so you want to rename everything, make it make sense to you. You can also colour your layers if you're so inclined, so you can group them together visually. Uh, but we'll do more of that stuff when we're actually rigging. So we're going to rig it all together next week. All this needs to be set up in Toonbo. Don't stress about how long your scene goes for, that's something that we can adjust as we go as well. Um, yeah, good one.